Stock markets responded positively after the U.S. and China agreed not to impose any new tariffs for the next 90 days while they resolve deep differences and craft a detailed trade agreement. But the two countries offered few details beyond their official statements. White House officials say China vows to move immediately to lift tariff and non-tariff barriers and agrees to over a trillion dollars of additional trade commitments. These things depend on market conditions, as you can imagine. Uh, you know, consumer demands, the state of the economies. Uh, the one thing that's really important to me, at least, is reducing the tariffs on these items. That, to me, is that's a, quote, structural change, along with re uh, reducing non-tariff barriers. How quickly Beijing delivers will show how serious it is in reaching a deal. Xi Jinping uh, appears ready to make some uh, very clear, uh, concrete moves. Uh, that might satisfy the Trump administration. But we can't see this from looking at the respective joint statements because those are very, very different. There's really nothing concrete in the Chinese statement at all. Analysts see the potential of China opening up its markets, including automobiles and financial services. But Beijing is unlikely to give everything Washington is asking. Ultimately, President Trump may have to accept a compromise, says analysts. I think there's a pretty good chance because as you get to the middle of 2019, the U.S. economy is likely to be slowing and it'll be in the interest of the administration to accept some kind of deal rather than ratchet up the trade war again. Although China has broken past commitments, U.S. officials say negotiations have never gone this far and both sides understand how much is at stake. I think President Trump and President Xi have developed a very important relationship. I think it's the two largest economies. They both understand the responsibilities that we have. If Washington and Beijing are unable to reach an agreement by March 1st, the Trump administration plans to raise tariffs to 25 percent. Patsy Widakuswara, VOA News at the White House.